Sehr geehrte Damen und Herren, lieber Olaf, ich freue mich wieder in Berlin zu sein. Dankeschön für den herzlichen Empfang und die interessanten Gespräche. Uh, over the past decade, uh, Europe has faced uh, uh, many challenges from the global financial crisis to refugee crisis to climate change, and our response was uh, uh, sometimes slow and not sufficient, but you learn with every crisis, and that has served us good in, uh, with, with the coronavirus crisis. Uh, our recovery package agreed in July uh, has shown that the EU has, as uh, Chancellor Merkel put it, uh, put it uh, Handlungsfähigkeit, ability to act and to act uh, decisively. Uh, as of the next year, uh, the recovery and resilience facility will provide an unique opportunity to drive the recovery forward and turn our economies uh, around, but we must uh, get it right. Uh, we must remain competitive and do so in a way that is sustainable and fair. We will soon provide more detailed guidelines to countries on how to prepare their recovery and resilience plans with reform and investment packages. The key word for next year's will be implementation. The European Commission uh, uh, is ready to support the member states in this process and also provide the technical support. Uh, this is also the moment to advance on the banking union and the capital markets union. Uh, we support the German presidency in uh, their efforts to drive forward the banking union. Uh, we know there are uh, issues uh, which are very challenging, but it's uh, essential to move forward. After all, it's uh, eight years since we agreed to the overall banking union framework, yet it's still not complete. Uh, uh, we need a more consistent uh, crisis management framework. We need to advance on the European Deposit Insurance Scheme. Uh, but uh, probably as uh, first deliverables, we should uh, deliver uh, amendments to the ESM Treaty, ESM Reform, and uh, early introduction of the backstop. Uh, <coughs> the uh, pandemic also injected real urgency in the capital markets union, because the strength of the economic recovery will depend on well-functioning capital markets and access to market financing. Uh, for instance, uh, companies should be able to rely on equity financing, not just bank loans, to get through this storm. In our CMU action plan, we will present, which we will present later this month, we will look at topics such as SME access to finance, market infrastructure, and measures to get savers in Europe to invest more through capital markets. Uh, Next Generation EU gives us also a chance to move forward as a global player, uh, player in the digital area. Another topic of this morning, uh, we want the EU financial sector to make the most of the opportunities offered by the digitalization with innovative European market players leading globally. European consumers and businesses should benefit from digital finance too by ensuring that risks are properly mitigated. Uh, later this month, I will present our updated EU digital finance strategy. Uh, we want EU rules to be fit for a digital age, so we, can promote, uh, so we can promote innovation while keeping risks in check. Uh, uh, this is why, for example, we will put forward a legislative proposal on markets in crypto assets. Uh, some ministers yesterday uh, expressed some concerns about the risks of uh, so-called stable coins uh, currently outside our rules. Uh, so rest assured that our legislative proposal will address those concerns comprehensively. Uh, we will regulate the risks for financial stability and monetary sovereignty linked to so-called stable coins used for payment purposes. Uh, but we want to be proportionate. Uh, crypto assets provide many opportunities, and we want to regulate innovation in, not out. Um, <clears throat> We also discussed uh, uh, this morning that we need uh, uh, to work advance on tax fairness. This is also now getting uh, even more relevant. Large digital companies may uh, emerge profitable from the crisis and with the larger market shares, while traditional businesses are bearing the brunt of the recession. Uh, we also need global minimum taxation, both in order to uh, secure much-needed tax revenues and to ensure that everyone uh, contributes their fair share. Uh, the Commission will present an action plan on business taxation for the 21st century this autumn. We will follow up uh, uh, on the work uh, to the reform of international corporate tax framework, which is uh, currently ongoing in the OECD. We hope uh, for progress uh, at the global level. Uh, however, if not, we will move ahead with a digital tax proposal in the first half of the next year. 
Uh, a fair corporate tax system will ultimately also help to ensure all, all member states can finance their recovery. Thank you. So, next speaker is Mr. Tugwenis.